All right, so here we are with the fourth box from this collection. Uh, I picked up this Golden Age collection along with Bigby, McFly, the comic guy, Brian. Uh, he mailed them all to me. I am opening them all up here. Uh, each one of the boxes has a short box in it. One of them has not been delivered yet, but I got four of the five. Uh, if you haven't checked out the other videos, make sure to go back and check out those other videos. And uh, we're gonna cut into this box. We'll get this short box out. We'll talk about these books. All right, so here we are with box number four. Uh, this looks like this is the box that has the superhero books in it, so I'm pretty excited about that. Some Batman, Superman, all that kind of stuff. Let's start checking these out. So we've got Ace Comics number 60, 1942. You know, just uh, these really early Golden Age. Cool to see. Uh, Space Detective number one. Now looks like some tape and that kind of thing on the cover, but cool book. Uh, Ibis the Invincible number six. Just the colors on this one are great. I really like this cover. Uh, Dobby and Gillis. I think this is a number one. Yep, volume one, number one. All right, so here we go. One of the more important books that are in this, Action Comics, number 93, a big logo Action Comics. You know, that's, uh, and it actually looks like, from right here at least, decent condition. You can see like a little staple rust and that kind of thing. Um, but spine looks pretty good. Uh, I'll, you know, I'll be interested in checking this one out. Like, because the, the books that are really important are the superhero books and the pre-code horror books. Pre-code horror books, pretty rough. Uh, so uh, we'll see how these superhero books turn out. So Action Comics number 93. I'm going to set that one aside. Uh, just because I don't want to stack books on top of it. Superman number 73. That looks like pop, maybe pop bottom staple. Top staple looks okay. But yeah, dec decent looking copy. Uh, ignore the prices. <laughs> uh, but yeah, decent looking copy. Uh, then, all right, back to some Disney. That was in the other box. Looks like some's in here too. We had to consolidate some of the boxes to try to get them tight uh, for shipping. So volume six, number five. Oh, and here's another Pep. Pep Comics, number 87. Archie's Girls, Betty and Veronica, number three. This is a pretty in-demand book. I think I remembered seeing this one, but maybe not. I don't know. I don't know if I remembered seeing this one in the video. But yeah, this is. I know this is a, an in-demand book. I think I've owned this one other time before. Archie number 27. Pretty nice condition. It's got a little spine wear. But for Golden Age Archie, it's a pretty solid looking book. One of the better condition books I've seen. I have one as well. Similar grade. I think I have mine. I have one that's around like a six. Archie 23. Really early Archie. That's cool. Archie 23. Walt Disney's Comics and Stories, Volume 6, Number 11. Pep, Number 61. There were two of these. He kept one of them. We kept one of them. I think this one actually has some value because it's kind of like a horror cover. Doll Man, Number 43. Now, this is a cool book. Uh, this is... I can't remember the title now. It's like special... Something special, number five. Uh, but this is an extremely rare book. This is considered Fritzy Ritz number one, which obviously not a character that's super popular today anymore or anything, but I mean, it's 1935. This is technically like a number one for this uh, the, this character. Like, even though it's not number one for the, the run, number one for this character, uh, I'm going to be counting pages and everything on this. Uh, there are very few of this book out there, so this is really cool to see. Like that one, this is one that when we were going through the books, kind of like on video, um, we had to use a Google, like the uh, Google lens to figure out what this book was, because uh, it, it's not called Fritzy Ritz or anything like that. So uh, that was cool. Uh, Comics on Parade, number 35. Oh, some more, another pretty good horror. All right. Adventures into Terror, uh, number, I don't know what that is, 31 maybe. I wasn't expecting another one of those. All right. Uh, Fire Hair, number four. Archie, number 54. Uh, 
Combat number 11. Oh, some, some more war in this one, too. Uh, Men in Action. Don't know the issue. Oh, this is number two. All right, there's some more Superman. All right, I'm going to move these out of the way. All right, we've got Superman number 45. Nice, like, really early, pretty early Superman for this. You know, decent condition. Looks like it might be a detached cover. That one might still be attached at the top. Bottom looks detached. Um, but yeah, Superman number 45. First appearance of Kite Man. Batman number 133. Uh, this was one that I was nervous when we were going through the books, and you, there were certain books that the, uh, the original owner had wanted to keep. And this was on the top, and I was like, oh, this is going to be rough. <laughs> He's going to want to keep, like, when I, because I know this is one of the keys, and there's not, and it's a lower grade, but still, you know, first Kite Man, Batman number 133. Uh, Detective Comics number 229. Uh, here's another big logo book. Uh, Adventure Comics number 98. I mean, these big logo DCs, this is cool. Let's see. Looks like it's still probably attached at the bottom. Top looks like it might be pushed through, um, but a decent presenting copy. So that's cool. Got a robot cover here, Detective Comics 258. Okay condition. Again, bottom staple looks like it might be popped. Not the big logo, but still relatively early. Still pre-code. Action Comics 183. Same thing here. Action Comics 195. Uh, here's another one of the big logos, Action Comics number 79. Uh, looks attached at the top and the bottom. So again, decent condition, which is, you know, we'll see. I got to check the back. Like, for all I know, the back cover's missing or something. But even, like, the spine here, you can see, like, spine is decent. Um, so yeah, that's cool. Action number 79. Batman number 124, sci-fi cover. Venture Comics 268. Adventure Comics 266. All right. Let's adjust these a bit so they don't fall forward. All right, I got to know what this is. Okay, so like I couldn't figure out what this was. All right, King Comics number 59. I just wasn't sure, like, because with the back, that looks like kind of like a big logo DC. Uh, but King Comics number 59. Let's see if, what he has written on here. Just the names of some of the stories that are part of it. I'll move this one to the side. All right, back to Batman. Detective Comics, number 294. Here's a cool one. Detective Comics, number 295. Got some water stain over here. So cool cover. All right, now this is a definite key. First appearance of Kryptonite. Oh, and he's got it. I think he's got first return to Krypton, but yeah, here we go. Uh, he, did, he did write that on here. Uh, origin of Green Kryptonite. Um, so... If you see this book, that's what this is. It's it's an unassuming cover. You know, it's just like, you know, the, the three women trying to give flowers to Superman. Uh, but it's Superman number 61. So just make sure you make note of that. Definite key and one of the important books that was part of this collection. Superman number 91. And again, you know, not high grades or anything like that. Definitely not 1993. Uh, but, uh, but yeah, pre-100 Superman. Uh, Superman number 74. Here's one of the another one of the bigger books that's in this. Action Comics number 66. This is the earliest action. So 1944, you can see up here. It's got a little chew in the corner. And it looks like, you know, it's probably a single staple because it's a World War II book. But colors are nice. Like, like this is a decent looking lower grade book like it, it would probably grade at like a two five maybe a three uh, if you're lucky but uh, probably more like a two five but that is a that is a decent looking book really nice colors on that one that's cool action comics 102 you know lower grade missing some stuff down in the corner there action comics 123 it says first time Superman flies, but I thought that was Superman number 30. Um, but 
but I know I know there's some uh, controversy around that. All right, this is one of the cool covers too. That's part of this. Action Comics number eighty nine. This cover's awesome. I love this cover. Let's see, is this one? This one looks detached too, like pop staples. Um, but image is really nice. Again, colors are great on this. It's going to look really nice in a mylar. It says loose cover, but I think, I'll, I mean, I'll check it. I'm guessing detached cover. <laughs> so, uh, but uh, Action Comics number 89, really cool cover. That's that's probably the coolest Superman cover maybe that's that's in this collection. That's awesome. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna set that one aside too. All right, Action Comics number one eighty six, still pre code. All right, now we've got the code on here. We've got issue number two twelve. And I think this is like the first like Bat Tank something like that. Uh, definitely a rough book. Issue 236. Oh, that's too bad. So this is issue 143. I thought it was a little nicer. Uh, I couldn't tell from the video, but there's definitely some, uh, some staining. You can see at the top here. Because, like, sp it's fully attached. Spine looks pretty decent. Uh, there's, and there's some creasing here, too. So that's all right. That's all right. I was hoping that one was maybe a little bit nicer book, but that's okay. Uh, Batman number 135. Batman number 125. For some reason, I feel like this is a key or something. I remember seeing this somewhere. I have to look it up. I don't know. Number 125. Batman 109. That's a cool cover. All right, back to some action comics. Action Comics 264 with Bizarro. Action Comics 267. Uh, Adventure Comics 134. Adventure Comics 135. It's cool to see those. Action Comics 257. Uh, Adventure Comics 223. Adventure Comics 230. It's pretty cool, kind of like sci-fi type cover. Issue 243. Uh, Adventure 278. Adventure 282, it says First Legion Appearance, Intro to Starboy. Adventure Comics 286. Adventure 289. Issue 290. This one's pretty rough. 245. Uh, when you see this kind of stuff, this is definitely, this is Bug Chew. When it doesn't go into the paper and it's just the cover, uh, that's bug chew. So I used to think that was mouse chew, but mice are indiscriminate. They will eat the paper. Bugs te tend to just like the covers for some reason. And this is the only Wonder Woman. Sensation Comics. Uh, which one is this? Uh, oh, yeah, number 52. So that's pretty cool. It's got a bunch of stamps on it, but uh, condition doesn't look half bad. Let's see, is it still attached? Yeah, still attached. Attached to both staples. So that's pretty cool. Sensation 52. That's a cool cover. World's Finest 92. Issue 118. Uh, issue 44. It's a cool cover, too. All right. Uh, Pre-code, actually. Black Hawk number 63. Number 71. And here we've got the, the code here. 89. Like a robot cover. 91. 93. 105. Don't worry, i got more books to add in here that I had to pull out early. 109. 118, 115, 119, 151, 164, uh, My Greatest Adventure 33, My Greatest Adventure 16. 
All right, let's add these these books back in. Let's see what else we got. A few moments later. All right, We've got Green Hornet number twenty-seven. It's in decent condition. Looks like attached probably at both staples. All right, here we go. Mickey Mouse Magazine, Volume 5, Number 10. Super Snipe, Volume 2, Number 11. Uh, Target Comics. Target Comics. More Target Comics. We got Dick Tracy, Super Comics, Number 88. Super Comics. I don't know what issue this is. Can't tell what issue. Issue 111. Famous Funnies 144. Cartoon stuff. Mutt and Jeff 26. Uh, more Mutt and Jeff 36. I uh, don't know what issue. Uh, 30. True 3D. Yeah, see, glasses not attached, but they are in the bag here. So True 3D number one. Another 3D book. Another 3D book. And there's another one of these. We got two of these. Uh, Adventures in 3D, number one. Famous Funnies, 174. And the last, oh, nope, two books. We got Mr. District Attorney, number 34. And the last one here, Bob Hope, number 30. Huge key issue to close it out. But this was a cool box. Uh, it had some. Pretty nice books in here, early action comics, uh, the early uh, adventure comics, some some detective comics, Batman, all that kind of stuff. So yeah, this is a cool box to go through. Got one more. It isn't here yet. I know that one has my uh, first Jetsons in it. So I'm looking forward to that box. So I want to see that first Jetsons. But hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you on the next one.